Welcome everybody to Get Loaded's product training. For our version 3 software, today I'd like to talk about our new version 3 search. It's been newly redesigned and we're real excited about it. To get to the finding a load or searching for a load screen, go to the search button from the top level of navigation, click on find a load. Here you'll see the five different kinds of ways to search for a load. The city radius search, the radius to radius search, the origin city search, and the destination city search, as well as the any to any search. These five searches are very popular among our users, especially the radius to radius search, and they work in different ways. The city radius search starts with a combination of a city and state or zip code and a radius that you define, and it will find all the loads that meet the criteria that you put in. A radius to radius search works in a similar fashion, a starting city and state or zip code, the radius that you want, and a destination city and state or zip code and the destination for that and the radius for that destination. Origin city, you define your starting city and state or zip code, and then what regions or individual states that you want out of the United States or provinces in Canada. The destination city works in reverse. Here you define the regions of the United States or states or Canadian provinces and then the city and state or zip code of the destination that you're trying to get to. Any to any works in a similar fashion. You can start with a region of the United States or individual states and go to another state or region of the United States. Let's take a look at our radius to radius search. Put in our starting zip code in Richmond, Virginia, and at a hundred mile radius. And then see what loads are going to Dallas, Texas, and in a hundred miles as well. Underneath the trailer type, you can see that we have three different ways to select a trailer type. We've got our combination trailers flatbed or step deck, flatbed or van, van or reefer, or you can choose a single trailer off our list. If you'd like to see all the available trailers that we have at Get Loaded, you can click, the but, click on the button that says show all trailer types and you can choose the types of trailers that you want to go for. I'm going to go for reefer, flatbed, and van. Over on the left you'll see our calendar. This is a rolling five-week calendar. You can choose to not select a date and then it will look for loads on all dates. Pick an individual day or a range of dates that you would like for it to search for loads for. You can also exclude a date out of that range if you want. I'm going to leave it so it's wide open. Here underneath additional equipment you can specify any equipment or have it only present loads that match the type of equipment that you have. For example chains and tarps. You can also tell it to filter loads by age, any time up through eight hours. Also by the load size, any, full, or partial. You can tell the information on the results page to sort by the age, which is the default, or any of these other categories in this list. Um, many of our, our members like the Origin Deadhead as their preferred sort. You can also put in the length of your trailer and the weight. There are some filters you can do, so if you only want to see loads that are team required or overweight or where the brokers have posted a pay amount or the brokers that you've designated as your favorites, you can do that here. Let's see what loads come up. So this is the search results page that matches the criteria that we put in on our search for loads. In the upper left you'll see navigation that takes you back to adjust your search. You can do a backhaul search from here or a dual leg search. If you'd like to print the results, you could do that here as well. It opens up a, a new page and you can see a comment box here where you could in, enter your own comment and include that when you print it out. Another really useful feature that our members ask for. At the top also, the last button is search tools. Here is where you can create an email alert. This takes the search you just did and sends any new loads to your email, whether that's on your computer, your tablet, or your smartphone, 
and continues till 9 p.m. that day or till you tell it to stop. Really popular feature with our members. The save search screen, the save search button allows you to save this search. You're allowed up to five saved searches. You can see here we've got three out of the five. Or post a truck right from this screen based on this search criteria. In the results, you'll see just above the table of loads is a green button called refresh and a counter just to the right of that. As new loads come in, that counter will tick up. And you can see those new loads at any time by clicking the green refresh button. Over here, you can tell what the ratio of loads to trucks is. And this is a thumbs up area, so it's good to look for loads in this particular criteria. And also, you can adjust the radius here between you know, what you specified and, and what we have available all the way out to 500 miles. And then if you do change the radius, load board will tell you how many new loads it found. And you can press this button to update the screen to see all those new loads. So let's take a look at the load search results that we got. First up is age, then the pickup date, truck type, whether it's a full or partial, the deadhead from the origin, the origin city and state, the number of miles, these are the loaded miles, the destination city and state, de the deadhead at the destination, the dispatch phone number, the company that posted the load, their credit score, whether you've marked them or not as a favorite, their TIA status, their factor status, what the pay amount is, and if there are any clicks. All of these columns in blue, these column headings, are sortable. So if I want to see loads by an age, I click on the age column, and now I see loads in ascending order. If I click it again, I see it in descending order. Any of these columns are selectable to be a sort for what you see. Whether you wanted to see miles, or deadhead origin, it is now your choice. On the far left are, are the check boxes. If you select a check box, you can hit the button and hide those loads. That's a convenient tool to use if you're going to print this list out so you're not printing out the ones you don't want to see or call on. If you'd like to see the details on any of the loads that you see here, you have a couple choices. You can click on any load anywhere in the row and that will open up the load details. Or you can press and hold the control key and click on several loads at a time and that will open up a new tab at the top of your browser so you don't lose this search results screen page. Let's take a look at one of the load details. On the load details you'll see uh, the overview of what the load was from the broker that posted it. And it'll tell you a lot about you know, the number of miles, the trailer type, any extra information, the weight, number of stops, any of the details that the broker included in their posting will be displayed here. Here you'll see the company information. The broker's name has a link that takes it to our freight directory where you can see more about that company. If you go to the FMCSA number, that takes you to the federal government's website where you can see more about their actual credentials. Here's an icon about their factors and as well as their TIA status, there's a badge displayed here. If your package includes rate index or credit report, you would see those things here. Below rate index and credit reports is route summary. This newly redesigned feature is very, very cool. It has a much larger map of the route and also a little table that includes the stops, their mileage, hours, and tolls. If you click on the view route button, here you'll get to see a larger map as well. You can add stops, see what the tolls are, and also print out your driving directions. You can also name what this route is underneath this button. Named routes are really a neat new feature for us, and they're visible under Manage My Routes. So if you think you'll come back to it, give it a name and save it. It's a handy little work step. Let's go back to some of the types of searches that we have and get loaded. Beyond that are the saved searches that we have. You're allowed up to five saved searches, and you can view the searches you can edit them or rerun them at any time. If you check the box, you can choose to delete them if you want. Underneath the recent 
searches, you'll see your list of all your recent searches. Again, here you can choose to view or rerun a search that you've already done. You can also check a box and delete the ones that are checked if you want. You can even choose to delete them all if you want. Moving beyond our, our new and improved load search screens, we're also really pleased to talk about our new help button. The yellow help button in the upper right is a brand new feature for us. Here you'll see all of the help topics that we have available, including the ones on load searching that we just looked at. So if you wanted to take a deeper dive and learn all there is about load search results, you would click on one of these topics and here you would see our explanations of what this feature does, screenshots, and also links to other pages that relate to this. You know, for example, like the email alert button that I talked about. Very useful feature, this newly redesigned help. Again, thank you for being a member at Get Loaded. We hope this training tutorial was helpful. And please remember that our customer service hours are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. And our number is toll-free, 888-565-3921. Thanks, everybody.